<clears throat> this is the start of the new baseline with the new performance chip, stainless steel exhaust, and HHL. Reset. Reset. This is a new um, test drive with HHO and new chip. Alright, so this is the route, at least part of it. Part of the way I drive on the freeway. A little while later, I'll show you some more of it. So, North Carolina here in the western part, it's uh, hilly uh, by mountains, by most people's standards, unless you live in the Rocky Mountains, and it's just foothills. I'll show you some more a little later. This is another leg of the trip out in the country. Curvy back roads. Not very much of the trip is this, 15 miles probably. We're coming up on the small road that my farm is on. Alright, so now we're on the little road that my farm is on. You can see we have, uh, it's pretty hilly and curvy. Part of my property on the left hand side. I'll take both my hands to steer here pretty soon. Alright, I'm loaded up, ready to go back. This is a typical load for me. This dump trailer is about nine and a half cubic feet if I fill it to the, to the brim level, but I can't, uh, my tractor doesn't lift quite high enough to do that, and uh, besides it's too much weight. The way it is right now, this is probably about 10,000 pounds. So I get a six foot by 10 foot uh, 10,000 pounds of mulch plus 2,000 pounds of trailer. There's the mulch pile. It's higher than I can reach with my my bucket. I've got to like dig at the top. I can't even dig at the bottom. It's so dense. So I have to sort of work my way down. And this is the farm. Most of it is up on a mountainside. It doesn't look like much from here, but there's 70 something acres up there. Uh, I only have about 25 acres I can drive a tractor on. All right, so I'm getting ready to head back. Here I'm going, making a run for the hill. Pretty much have to go wide open throttle the whole way. You can see the exhaust uh, gas temperatures are up there pretty good. Pulling 58 amps or so. I'm just, just still going uphill, but we're at the base of the hill, 50, 48 miles an hour. Without HHO, it got up to uh, 1,232 degrees Fahrenheit, and I topped out the hill at about 39 miles an hour. Okay, we 
dropped, we kicked into second at uh, 41 miles an hour. Now it's dropped, it's still a little over 40. So it's 12, we're up to 1235, 1236, 1240, 1245. So the EGTs are just a little bit higher with the HHO. It's 1256. And uh, we're starting to, the hill's tapering off now, so. All right, so that was the hill. Did that three times. Here we are. I did that the run to the farm with a started up at this gas station with an empty trailer, went and filled up, went and dumped it and came back and to get fuel. So we started out with 72.3 miles. It used 7.915 gallons. I got an abysmal 9.13 miles per gallon. This is using the performance chip, the Dr. Performance performance chip. The uh, gauge shows 12.7. So I use the performance chip and HHO. All right, I forgot, to, not ever got around to hooking up the disconnect on this. I had to physically disconnect it. See, it's hanging loose. So I'm going to do the run without the power. Gas prices have gone down a little bit to um, about 380 a gallon, 7.52 gallons. And 73.7 miles. It's typical for this, this trip. I'm going to go pay now, so I have to turn off the camera. 73.7 miles, calculated MPG 9.8. Use 7.52 gallons. The gauge reads 10.3. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, the EGTs were good all the way, even with a fully loaded trailer. Up to mine hole gap, the long hill that I have to go up, um, the EGTs went up to 1,237 right at the top. about the same as before. And there's miles, 72.0. And the gauge says 10.1. And I'll get the calculated miles for a second. Okay, we're back here, we got 72 miles. 7.298 gallons that yields 9.87 miles per gallon, which is pretty close to what it was without HHO. Uh, not a measurable difference.